I'm thinking of Ezra chapter 3. It's a very nostalgic passage. My friend and I have been reading through the books of Ezra and Nehemiah, which is about God restoring his people. Ezra chapter 3 ends with this worship service, verse 11, with praise and thanksgiving. They sang to the Lord, He is good, His love to Israel endures forever. And all the people gave a great shout of praise to the Lord because, it says, the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. They are in this construction site. They see the beginnings of the temple of the Lord and they praise God. They start this worship service thanking God for His enduring love that lasts forever. But, verse 12 begins, many of the older priests, the OGs, and the Levites, and the family heads who had seen the former temple, you know, they wept aloud when they saw the foundation of this temple being laid, while many others rejoiced. This rejoicing, and this mourning, and this goodness, and this sadness, it kind of mixes together in verse 13. No one could distinguish the sound of the shouts of joy from the sounds of weeping. You know, they just came together, they just sang together in sadness and gladness, and you couldn't tell who was sad, who was glad. You hear this, see this, and you're tempted, I know you're tempted to feel sorry for the old guys. <laughs> tempted to tell them, hey, cheer up! There's the foundation. At least, at least we have a temple. But let me tell you, as a former OG myself, there is a place for this grieving, there's a place for this disappointment, especially when things get better. Especially, you know, when this lockdown is lifted, when things go back to normal, as it were. There's a place and a moment for us to just stop and grieve and reflect, not just on the way that things were, but on the way that things should be. You see, that's why they're grieving. God should restore his people fully, perfectly. That's the promise that the Bible gives us. It's not just a restoration, but a renewal of the heavens and the earth. God will one day eliminate all death and sin. This promise of new life and the new heavens and new earth will come when Jesus returns. You know, having a meal like Roti Chanai, I do think of the good old days. But you know what's even more powerful is it reminds me of, of this hope. I hope I will be able to share this meal again with my family, with my friends, when I do go back to Malaysia, when I do have this meal again with my friends. But it points forward, not back, it points forward to a reality that I hope is there. Maybe, maybe that might not happen, but the reality that is there in Jesus Christ, that will happen. He will destroy all death, He will destroy all sin, and He will come back to rule and to judge and to reign in love and in righteousness. Yeah. <laughs>